Hey guys, this is Rick from Rick's For You, and today I'm going to show you my e-reader. Okay, I, I read books on several different readers. I use a tablet, not as much as I used to because uh, I've been reading reports on how it gives you eye strain. As you can see, I have glasses. I don't need any more eye strain than I already have. Although the resolution is awesome and the page turns are great. Um, it gives you eye strain and I do a lot of reading. I read several books, you know, anywhere from the Island of Doc Moreau to nonfiction. I mean, I read a lot of stuff. Um, I haven't had an e-reader in a long time. Uh, this is my old Sony, my Sony uh, e-reader PRS 350. It, I loved it. It was great. It was my first introduction to e-readers and uh, couldn't get enough of it. It was just great. But as you can see, it's small. It's uh, got a little bit smaller screen than the average phone today. A little bit smaller screen. Now, I have another e-reader um, since I bought the Kindle. Uh, it was a Kindle six inch paper white really good i since sold it i bought another e-reader since then it's the uh me book m6 great i bought a cover for it it's a magnetic cover it actually puts it to sleep when it's not being used it's got a much larger screen than the little sony has right and it's an e-reader but the best thing about it is it's android which means i can download any app i want any reading app i want and any app say the kindle app or I can download the Kobo app or the Barnes & Noble, any one I want, the Nook, right? I can download any app on here and I can download any book. I can just, boom, get it on here and start reading it. I liked it, but I, I don't have as good as eyesight as I used to. And this is the reason why I've made this other decision I'm going to go with and I'm going to tell you about right now. I decided to get a larger reader. That way, when I blow up the characters or the fonts, make it easy enough for me to read especially at night, make it easy to read, I can still get a full page on the actual e-reader. So if a book, say you bought the hardcover book, a paperback book, it's 400 pages. If you put it on a little e-reader and you blow up the characters larger, you might have 700 pages on that book, right? Because you have to say maybe two, two and a half or three pages on that e-reader for the actual page. So it's a really long book and that's not that big a deal. But the thing is, you find yourself reading a chapter and boom, you got a flip page. Find a chapter, boom, you got a flip page. Why well, didn't want that? I wanted to read three or four chapters, whatever, even five chapters, what's written on the page before I have to flip the page. So I decided to get the other e-reader, which I really love, which is the same exact size as the iPad. Not the iPad mini, this is your regular iPad. Not the iPad Pro, not the really big iPad. It's a 9.7 inch. They haven't made the 9.7 inch for the most part in pads in a long time. But this is a pretty good size pad. Um, it's not too large, it's not too small. I have a, a, a mini and the mini is pretty small and it's great. But the problem is with iPads or an Android tablet is they are heavy. I didn't want one that's heavy. Plus you get that eye strain, which is kind of something I wanted to get away from, right? So I decided to get the exact same size in the pocketbook very light i mean this thing is light um it's e-reader but it's not android so what you have to do is you have to go into something like like caliber convert whatever book you want to to epub and to non-drm drm is basically a licensing that allows you to only read on that particular program whether it be candle or whatever it is so if you were to purchase a book from amazon then you can only read those books according to their DRM or digital rights management on the Kindle app because they don't want you it's proprietary they want you to do what they want you to do but you purchase the book so if you went out to the store like Barnes & Noble and you actually purchased a book does Barnes & Noble tell you you can only take this paperback and read it because you read it you can't give it to someone else you can't give it to your wife or your husband and let them read it you have to be the only one who reads it of course not you can do whatever the heck you want with it right so that's kind of what getting rid of digital rights management is. The purpose behind digital rights management or DRM is so you can't make copies, a bunch of photocopies or a bunch of copies, and then give them away or sell them because it is not your intellectual property. I completely understand that. But if you're not going to do that, if it's just for personal use, which is what it is in my case, go ahead and get rid of the DRM, 
convert it to whatever format you need to, or don't convert it at all if, if your reader doesn't require you to convert it. But I like to convert them to all uh, EPUB. The reason why I do all EPUB is simply because it's pretty much a universal thing. So I do it in Calibre, convert them all to EPUB, and then I put them on here. It's real simple. I actually email them to this tablet or to this reader. I email them to the reader. The reader loads them up, and it's good to go. It's very light in the hands, and the thing is, like I said, you can make the font large. I don't go this large. This is just a screensaver. But I make the font larger, which is an entire page. And since it's an entire page, I flip each page as if it's a regular book, although the fonts are larger and easier for them to read. In here, I probably have about 80 books. And I've read probably about a quarter of them. Um, I like to read. I read when I'm at lunch at work. I read when I get home from work. I read before I go to work. I just love to read. You know, it's great. Um, but reading to me on a tablet or on an e-reader or on your phone is so much easier than having to open up a hardcover book. Now, I'm in my 50s. Before all this technology existed, I used to read hardcover books. So you're not going to convince me anything other than a hardcover book is the best thing in the world. It's not. That's not. This is so much better. But if you prefer to open up a book and smell the inside of a book, great. There's nothing wrong with that. I used to be an offset pressman. I actually used to print the books that you read. I actually used to do that. I take them from scratch. So trust me, I know all there is to it. I used to use a collator. I used to glue them. I used to staple them, you know, to make the spines of the cup, everything. I used to do all that. So trust me, I like this. It's about $200 on Amazon. I think it's well worth it. It's great. The page turns are quick. You can set the refresh rate to refresh every page or every third page or every fifth page. Um, it actually scrolls pretty good. It scrolls pretty darn smooth, almost like you're scrolling on a tablet. Not quite, but almost like you're scrolling on a tablet. But it looks very grainy until after about a quarter of a second, then it sharpens up like you see here. It, it's, it's different from any other tablet or e-reader that I've ever had. Um, all the other e-readers I've ever had, they, they look horrible and they scroll real, real scrawny and, and they catch really fast as they're scrolling, they catch. This is pretty smooth, although it's not in high resolution, until you let go, then it blinks and comes into high resolution. So it's black and white, but what books do you read other than comic books that are in color? You don't read them in color. This is not meant for you to watch videos online. Although it has a browser, you can watch them, but it's going to be black and white. But hey, I recommend it. I read this a lot. I've gotten well over my $200 worth out of this. So this is Rick from Rick's Review, and I'll see you next time.